Hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? Episode two of the DK Business and Mindset Show. I am so glad that you guys are here. Thank you so much for listening or watching because, yes, I'm going to be uploading the full episodes on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And um, yes, I am excited, guys. This is this is going to be a journey of minds that I am going to love and be excited about. So let us go. In, let's go into the topics that we want to talk about today. So I want to talk about something that I posted back on. I think was it Friday. It was called the Ma- mastering the art of acceptance. So I posted it on my story on Friday because. This is an important thing when you're in life in general, any type, you know, this is to me, this falls in the category of mental toughness in 2021 and moving forward in your life. You have to learn the art of you have to learn the uh, master. I'm sorry, master the art of acceptance. The reason why I'm saying that is because life is going to throw you curveballs, man. They're going to just it's just going to happen. They're going to throw you some curveballs that you're going to have to deal with. And it is what it is, you know. So learning the 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 slang term, in a sense, it is what it is. You have to learn to accept that in your life. And it's for a good reason, because if you learn to hold on to things that you can't let go It's going to hurt you in the long run, and I don't want that for you. So I want to hit on like five main topics or five main points about mastering the art of acceptance. So just to go a little bit into the subject here, I'm going to go over some of the things that in my background and in my my history that has caused me to learn this concept and learn this tool in my life to learning that it is what it is. So. You know, I'm going to go over a lot of things that can help you master the art of acceptance and overall a little secret of how this kind of actually can help you in the long run towards people that you don't necessarily like. (laughs) So uh, just to get into it with my background with the mastering the art of acceptance, I in my in my lifetime, I never really had an opportunity you know, to love myself in the beginning, you know, like when I was in school, I was bullied, bullied a lot. I'm talking like I had, you know, kids just saying, you know, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, you're this, you're that, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, one thing that I have learned in society, kids are kids can be rough, man. When you're when you're in elementary school, middle school, even high school, man, kids can be rough. And if you're not built for that type of, um, you know, whatever, how, how can I put it? If you're not built to throw back jokes, if you're not built to accept all the things that people say, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're not built to like have that mental toughness while you're growing up, it could be hard for you when you're in school, man. So like me personally, I used to get picked on a lot because I was different. I was always different. I never was that guy who went with the wave. If I like co- like Pokemon and all this other stuff, I got picked on because of it. If I wore Dragon Ball Z shirts, I got picked on it, um, picked on it because of it. Um, I always used to get picked on because I was smart when it came to math or when it came to like um, other subjects like history. Now, when it came to like English class, I was horrible. I still to this day. Someone, if a grammar Nazi comes up to me now and is like, oh, well, your your punctuations is wrong and what you say is wrong. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Nowadays, like it, depending on what field you're in, you don't always have to necessarily be politically correct. So, you know, I don't you know, especially with this podcast, I'm not focusing on being politically correct. I will derive my opinions and thoughts based off of facts. But, you know, I'm not worried about being politically correct. So because I wasn't always politically correct, I I wasn't the greatest in English. I just didn't see the point. (laughs) But my subjects that I were very great at was math and history because I always had a I always had a a knack for solving problems. And I always love learning about our history, except well, not all history. I'm not the George Washington chopping a cherry tree tree type stuff. I'm, I'm into like more wartime history and stuff like that. So. Um, and also African, African American history too. Like I studied more African American history after I got out of high school cause they didn't teach that enough in school, but that's a subject for another day. Uh, but either way, you know, growing up in school, 
I wasn't the most liked person. And it's just because people used to pick on me all the time. I was different. Uh, you know, I've got I've been called a weeb, a nerd, uh, fat, ugly, you name it. And, you know, a lot of times that caused me to just want to be likable. It, it caused me to be this person that I never really wanted to be in the first place. You know, I just would do things, you know, so people could like me. And in all in the long run, when I do it, I'd look like a fool and then make it even worse. So, you know, just I would try to act cool just so I can appease people. When in all reality, I would make myself look like a fool and it would just be worse. So in all reality, it wasn't until after I got out of school and after I realized, OK, I'm no longer around those people that I had to start figuring out who I was as a person. And it really came down to as I got older and older and faced a lot of trials and tribulations in my life that I finally came to realize as a grown adult in this world, I don't need to be liked. I don't need to be liked at all. People, I don't care who you are. I don't care what your beliefs are. I don't care what direction you're going. What you're doing satisfies you. It doesn't satisfy me. I have to figure out what's good for me. So the one thing that I will tell you about mastering the art of acceptance is not everybody's going to like you. And if you have that mentality, if you're listening to my podcast right now and you're saying, but but I want to be a likable person. They, they always say you want to be a likable person. No, 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 no. What they mean by be a likable person, meaning is just genuinely be you. And you know what? Not everybody wants you to be genuinely you. That's the thing. People always have these opinionated thoughts and how you should do things or how you should carry out things. And the, and the crazy thing about it is when you listen to those opinions, because that's what they are, they're opinions. They're not fact. When you listen to those things and they, you let that dictate your decisions, you're going to be so far behind in life. It's going to be insane. You know why I'm telling you things? Because that was me. I let everyone's opinions dictate my life. And it, it caused me to go into a, a downward spiral where I didn't even know who the hell I was anymore. Literally. So just please understand that if you're going to master the art of acceptance, understand that not everybody is going to like you. And that is OK. That is OK. If no one else has ever told you that. I'm telling you on my podcast right now, it is OK that everybody doesn't like you. So get over it. J. Cole said it best. He said it to Logic on his last. Uh, if you listen to rap, uh, hip hop music or rap music, go to Logic's album. Um, everybody. And it's the very last track. Afri Africarian. Skip. If you don't want to listen to the whole song, you can skip to like the last five or four minutes. And in that part, J. Cole put a verse on there and J. Cole said, don't worry about what people do, man. Don't worry about what people say. Just two things. Learn to love God and lo accept yourself. Learn to love God and accept yourself. I live by that. So what if I'm big? I'm a big boy, man. You see, I got, you know, I'm a big boy. I've always been a big boy. But guess what? I love me some me, man. I love me some me. I love everything I, about myself. I know what I know what type of person I am. I know what my character stands for. And I know where I want to go in life. Not everybody, you know, that I went to school with is going the same direction. Some are going good direction. Some are going bad direction. Some of them are not even here anymore on this earth. So whatever that person has said to you in the past is irrelevant. Don't worry about what people say to you. Don't worry about people liking you. Do things to your liking. What what things in your life? Uh, you see what I'm saying? Like I get passionate about this stuff because when people and I've had people come up to me before, like why are people always picking on me? Why is people always saying this or I should do this or I'm always wrong? No, people are doing that to you because they're trying to tell you their truths, not yours. I had someone in, in my in my circle who is a holistic coach who I had a deep conversation with. 
And we discovered some things that was still hidden in my past that I that we had to uncover and understand that my past doesn't define me. What people had said to me was their truth, not mine. I know what my truth is. And I know what I need to do to change it. So don't worry about what people say to you. Don't worry about what people say to you at all. Understand your truth. Accept who you are as a person. Love yourself and love God. And if you're not a religious person, that's fine. I don't I don't consider myself religious either. I'm more spiritual. But if you don't believe in God, believe in yourself. I tell people that all the time. If you don't believe in God, believe in yourself. Because you are all you have in this world. That's all you got is you. You have people you have people in your life, they support you and love you, but people come and go, man. Learn to love yourself and accept yourself. And once you start understanding that and understanding your mental and understanding yourself, man, it's going to be so much easier for you in life. So much easier. That is just one aspect of learning to master the art of acceptance. You know, now the next topic I want to co uh, cover is, you know, you have to understand that if you're going to master the art of acceptance, that you cannot control every situation that comes upon you. Man, when I tell you that I used to be a worry bug about everything, and I know some people in my in my circle who are the same way. But one thing that my mom has always taught me, and, and my, my father too, I've noticed that when things happen in their life, they're the most cool, calm, and collective people in the world. And I used to look at them like, Mom, how can you keep your cool? Like, you know, such and such is going on in your life. You know, you know, you're not you're not the richest person in the world. You don't have all the money you went through. You know, dr you went through, uh, 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 you know, drug abuse in your life. You went through all, you know, you've been raped. You've been you went through all of this, you know, and then my father, same thing. My father been through some certain things in his life that, you know, you know, that's been hard for him. You know, my father's been sued before. My father has been going through so many things. How are you still able to keep a level head through all that stuff that appeared in your life? And the first thing they say to me is that I cannot control. So I, I cannot worry about something that I can't control. For my father, my pop, my father, you know, he couldn't control the fact that that person sued him for that accident he got into. You know, thank the Lord, the, the, the lawsuit didn't go through because it was the guy's fault. It wasn't him. It, it wasn't my father's fault. But if my father became a worry bug about everything, he would have never been able to solve that situation. It probably would have got worse and we all would have went in a downhill spiral. So, you know, even for my mother, my mother has been through a lot, you know, and through all of it, from having PST, PTSD, uh, from those situations to having anxiety, having depression and not in not folding under pressure to raise it, help, you know, raising me, raising my, raising my little brother. It's like, how did you not fold under that pressure? And she just say that simple thing. I cannot help what happens to me. I mean, obviously, you know, things are going to pop up. Some things are self-inflicted, some aren't, but whatever pops up in my life, I can't control what happens. I just I have to control the outcome. People do what I just said. Peep to what I just said. I'm going to say it again. I can't control what happens in my life. I can only control the outcome. That is the point that you need to understand of mastering the art of acceptance. You're not going to be able to control everything that comes your way. Some things are going to be out of your control. And if you can't accept that, you're going to have a very, very tough time in this world. So start identifying things that you can't control. So for me, right, I can control content that I put on this podcast. Can I control the listeners that I want to have? No. 
whoever finds this podcast podcast interesting, they're going to tune in. And whoever doesn't, doesn't. Not everybody's going to like what I do. Not everybody's going to like what I say. Not everybody's going to like my voice. But guess what? There's an audience for everything. So there are some people out there who are listening and have gave me the best feedback in the world. They, they pushed me. They encouraged me to do this. And so I'm doing it. If I came in with the mentality of, OK, this person doesn't like my podcast, so I'm not going to do it. I just gave I just gave up on an opportunity that could change my life. I've been listening to Gary Vee videos every day about podcasting and how you need to put content out on a daily basis, day, day in and day out, day in and day out, engaging with your with your audience, day in, day in and day out, day in and day out. He said this is one of the the, the easiest times. He didn't say it was easy, but he said it was one of the easiest times for an entrepreneur because of the digital age. But he said there were other eras just like this, like somewhere in the 90s, somewhere in the 70s, stuff like that. But just like every era that comes like this, it also goes. So eventually this era will eventually go away and a new era will take its place. So the, the thing it gave, uh, Gary Vee said was, are you going to take advantage or watch it wither away? I'm not going to watch it wither away. I don't care what nobody says about my podcast. I'm doing this for me and everybody else who wants to listen. I'm not doing this for nobody else but me. So come into the mindset, no matter what you're doing, I don't care if you want to start a bakery. I don't care if you want to start a donut shop. I don't care if you want to start a podcast. Understand that there are things you can control, like putting as much content as you can out there. You can engage with your audience and engage with other people. You can promote your uh, podcast, share it to other platforms, put ads out there. But what you can't control is who is going to come and listen. Worry about the people who will come and listen. Don't worry about the people who, let's say you shared your podcast with like 10 people and 10 people gave you a really bad feedback saying like, oh, your podcast sucks. I'm not listening to your podcast. Your voice is annoying. Okay, that's cool. Guess what? There are 20 other people who said that my podcast is great. So your 10, your 10 negative reviews don't don't bother me at all. So when you understand that not everybody's going to like you and what you do, and when you understand that you cannot control everything that comes in your life, it's going to help your mental. It's going to give you that magical phrase that, I, that they always say. It is what it is. Same thing when it comes to, and this is a tough one. This is a tough one for a lot of people, but people in your life, people come and go all the time. Whether it's your friend, best friend, family, or loved one, or your spouse. That's the big one. Understand that not everybody in your life is going to be there for you forever. I've had friends come and go. I've had relationships come and go. You know, I've had, you know, family who came and gone. And through all that, I'm still standing. Does it hurt when you lose people in your life, especially if you draw close to them? Yes, it does. It does. But understand you have to come to a terms and understanding that people are temporary. You don't know who's going to be there for you temporarily or permanently. Yes, even family. Or some some of your family members will be temporary. So and I'm not saying that for everybody like. I know for me personally, my mother and father is always going to be there for me no matter what. Until their last breath on earth, my mother and father will always be there for me. My aunt will always be there for me until their her last breath. You know, my grandparents have, have been there for me until their last breath. Uh, my great grandmother, you know, you know, God bless her soul. She's dealing with dementia right now. 
um, she's been there for me, and you know, until eventually her last breath comes. And you know, I do I do my due diligence to make sure that I still pop up and pop my face up because her dementia is starting to eat away at her brain. And but she but the thing is that still lights my heart about my great grandmother is that when she sees my face, she still remembers me, and it warms my heart to know that. So, you know, when you have those people in your life, your support system right there, it helps you out a lot. But the rest of the people, they come and go, man. They come understand that people come and go, especially when it comes to relationships. When it comes to relationships, enjoy the ride because it, it's relationships sometimes can be very unpredictable. It could be good at one moment. And then the next moment, it could be uncertainty. It could it could it could mean that that person may walk away from you or, or it may not walk away from you. You don't know. So. Don't allow that to stop what you're doing, though. Don't allow that to impede on whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. Understand that if that person is not willing to work it out with you, if that person is not willing to sit down and say, hey, okay, we're having some disagreements. We're having some ups and downs. Let's sit down. Let's talk about it like two adults. Okay. If they're not willing to do that, then that person is not meant to be there for you permanently. They're just there temporarily. And don't look at it as like, oh, I wasted my time with this person, this, that, and that, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You didn't waste your time. They were there for a purpose. So you take whatever was good from that situation. You take the good from the bad and you walk away and understand that that person wasn't meant to be there for you long term. They were only meant to be there for you temporarily. That's it. When you understand that and you understand that it is what it is, if that person wants to walk out of your life, like the dude said, Somebody will open up, whoever it is, it could be me, could be anybody. If you understand the, 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 the thought process of it is what it is, you will hold that open, that door open for that person to say, here you go. Here's the door. Don't let nobody manipulate you. Don't let nobody use your, uh, use your emotions to manipulate you so they can keep, you know, their whole situation. I've been through that before in my past relationship. I've been in, you know, that person know who she is. I'm not going to say names, but, you know, and I've please understand when I when I say this, I'm not coming from a place of bitterness. I'm not coming from a place of, you know, because I don't want this person to come back after me and try to kill me or sue me or anything. But (laughs) but understand that I'm just telling my truth from that past situation and that. I hope this person succeeds in life. I hope this person gets everything they want in life. I have no bitterness with them at all. Happened a long time ago. It's over. We were young and dumb. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, don't allow someone to manipulate your emotions. Don't allow that person to say to yourself, oh, I want to leave. So you better get right. What? Oh, you want to leave? There's the door. I'm just saying. (laughs) <laughs> you, you want to walk out of my life cool fine it is what it is it, I can't force you to stay don't allow that person to manipulate you physically mentally emotionally none like nothing don't be afraid to be by yourself if that means that you can keep the peace and keep your mental health by letting that person go and accepting it is accepting the situation for what it is You're going to be do so much better. So, so, so much better. I encourage you to do it. Hell, I've told many people to do it. But they allow that emotional manipulation to trap them into that relationship. And now that person has power. Power is power is it's a drug, man. For some people who are power hungry. They prey on people like that. They prey on people who they can manipulate. And it, it's sick. It's very sick. From a person who's been manipul- manipulated before, it's sickening. 
Yes, men can get manipulated too, but that's a topic for another day. I would have to bring that up. Or I would have to bring, you know what? For that subject, I'm going to have to bring on a guest. I'm going to have to bring on somebody that we can really talk about the double standards between men and women. But I'll have to bring somebody on for that one. But, <laughs> but yes, uh, regardless if you're a man or woman, don't let no don't let nobody manipulate you at all. Please don't let nobody do that to you. Just understand. And please, please, by all means. Not everybody in your life is meant to be permanent. Some people are meant to be temporary. And if that's okay, that is okay. So let them go and you'll be okay. But most importantly, I want to reiterate the last part of this whole thing. And that's because when you learn to master the art of acceptance, it is the ultimate revenge. <laughs> I know, I know we're not supposed to be vengeful. We're not supposed to be all of this other crap, but let's be real here. When things like that happen, we kind of hope for that little bit of karma to kick in. You know, the whole what goes around comes around. Yeah, it happens. When you finally have that master, the art of acceptance and you're able to fully master it, like accept, you know, accept the fact that not everybody is permanent. They're going to be temporary, except the fact that you can't control everything. And also accept the, accept the fact that not everybody's going to like you. When you accept all those three things, there is going to be an art of revenge and karma on that person. It's 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 I've seen it happen all the time in my past. Those people who have said cra crazy things about me, who have treated me wrong, who has tried to em emotionally manipulate me because I'm, I'm more passive aggressive in a sense sometimes, but not always. Sometimes if I have to snap on you, I will. Don't get a twist. I'm from the hood. I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, seriously, you know, there's an art of revenge to that. When you, when you deal, you ever deal with somebody who is just unbothered with everything, no matter what you say to them, no matter what you do to them, no matter what happens in their life, they're just unbothered. When you master that art of um, being unbothered, man, yo, that, that it, it's so dangerous to, to, to be in that position because that means that person cannot touch you. You, you become untouchable when you become unbothered. You become untouchable. So if you have not done it today, I encourage you master the art of acceptance. Understand that not everybody's going to like you. Understand that you cannot control every situation. Focus on what you can. And understand that you need to let people go. People are going to be temporary in your life. And once you understand those three things, you're going and, and once you apply it, you're going to be untouchable. I'm telling you, nothing is going to phase you. You're going to be like Superman, just da -da -da, pull the chest out with the S on it and bullets going to be coming through. You're going to ping, 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 ping. <laughs> you're going to be straight. You're going to be straight. So please understand that. And trust me, life is going to be easier for you every single day. That's all I got for you guys. Episode two in the books. Of course, I'm going to try to make this a daily thing. So make sure you tune in to more of my podcasts. And guess what, guys? I'm not just on Spotify anymore. I'm on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many other platforms. So you can listen to me. If you don't have Spotify, you can listen to me on any platform. So I'm going to be back with another episode. Stay tuned. Love you guys.